We got some crazy ice storm thing yesterday. There was something like a quarter inch of pure ice covering everything, all over the roads, all over the trees. My car was completely covered in ice. Like, look at this. I just got done with my first half of the day, and today I had uh, three cancellations still because of this ice storm that happened yesterday. If that first part looked really weird, it was because my white balance is off, so I changed it now. What the fuck? Oh, it's back to being super cold outside. Jesus. This morning I was kind of in a rush, so I didn't really have time to eat any food. I went straight to work. And then my 6 a.m. client canceled, so I just did a leg workout with my 5.15 a.m. client. And doing legs on an empty stomach is really hard. By the end of it, I had zero energy at all. I'm gonna close my door, dude, okay? You're gonna stay in, you're gonna go out. I'm about to film a video. Boop, boop. Okay, I'm gonna get some water first. Tripping on the hallucinogenics. Oh, that was a lot of water. Today, I have had a lot of caffeine and Almost no water. When I was at work, my eye was just twitching here for the longest time and it was bugging me so much. Talos is right, right here, aren't you, bud? Hi, I need to film a YouTube video. He's literally right, yep, it's, that's him, right there. Oh, wait. You're gonna mess up my shot, little man. I'm gonna move you, okay? Oh, where'd it go, man? Oh, where'd it go, boy? Oh, so look at this penguin. You're a little penguin, you know that? Yeah, so I had to drink some more water because I was, oh, I was pretty sure dehydrated, which was causing this thing just to like, just like vibe, like so much that my eye is just going left and right. Oh, so annoying. So since I mentioned I didn't have anything for breakfast, I wanted to help you guys out with how to plan some meal prepping. It's something that I do every single Saturday or Sunday, and that way it keeps me on track and ha gives me a bunch of food. Tell us. But... I'm gonna have to kick you out, little man. You're just a big lover. Okay, nope. We gotta go. Go on. Go on, now, little man. Bye bye. Okay, where was I? So since I have such a busy schedule every single week, I always meal prep on Saturdays and Sundays. That way I have breakfast, lunch, and dinner ready to go for the entire week, and I don't have to worry about cooking food when I get back home at night. So here's some ideas on how you can lay out your meals for meal prep. So first off, just figure out how much food you want to meal prep. Let's make it easy and just say you're gonna make like three days worth of meal prep. So that's breakfast, lunch, and dinner for three days. Breakfast is no big deal. Eggs are super healthy and you can scramble those up in no time. For me, I'll have like four breaks for breakfast. Four breaks for breakfast? <laughs> oh, been up since 4 a.m. Oh. So for me, I have like four eggs for breakfast. Four eggs for three days, that's 12 eggs. All you have to do is just scramble those up in a pan and put it in three different containers, and then you're good to go. That's breakfast for the next three days. Lunch can get a little bit more complicated. A typical lunch for me would be a chicken breast, a potato, either regular or a sweet potato, and then some kind of vegetable. Let's say asparagus. This is super easy because all of those bake in the oven at 400 degrees. So all you have to do is preheat the oven and then prep all of that stuff to put in the oven. Potatoes take one hour to bake. Chicken and the asparagus both take like 28 minutes. That's it, super easy. Once those are done, all you have to do is just put them in three different containers for the next three days and then you're good to go. It doesn't take like any effort. The hardest part is just prepping all the food to put in the oven 
and then you just have to wait for them to cook. That's it, super, super easy. So I also changed this up by having different vegetables every single week. Last week was Brussels sprouts, this week I'm having baked broccoli. Also plain chicken can get really boring, so I change up different marinades that I use. This week I have a Mediterranean herb, and my personal favorite is honey bourbon. It's super, super good. Also doesn't really make it that much more unhealthy in the long run. So for dinners, I'll kind of mix that up a little bit and have a little bit more variety rather than just having like chicken and potatoes every single week. So since it's winter in Wisconsin, I've been having a lot of chili lately. An entire crock pot of chili will last me like four or five days if I have it every single day. If you guys want a really good and easy recipe, it's right here. Some weeks I'll also bake some salmon for a couple days. This is super easy as well, because just like chicken, it bakes in the oven at 400 degrees, but only in like 15 minutes. Put that with some rice and vegetables, and then you're good to go. Also, salmon is super healthy for you. So I also love jambalaya. I have that quite a bit. It might not be the healthiest thing in the world, but it's really, really good. This is easy, because it's basically just like a box of the main ingredients, and then you put that with some smoked sausage, and then that's it. You've got like, three meals worth of a box of jambalaya. I also add some onions and some peppers to kind of give it a little bit more and add some more healthy ingredients to it. But you just gotta fry that up, put it in some containers, and then you're pretty much good to go. So my suggestion for you for dinner, I would pick a few different recipes and try something that you like, and then just make that for like two or three days. Maybe make a little bit more variety. You do a couple days of one recipe, a couple days of a different recipe. Just prep those ahead of time, and then you'll have dinner for the next three or four days. So like I said, I do this every Saturday or Sunday, and in reality, it only takes me a couple hours to get all of those meals done. I can finish cooking for the next five days in about two hours, and I would so much rather spend a couple hours on the weekend cooking all of that food instead of coming home every night after work and cooking for 45 minutes just to make dinner. I suggest meal prepping to pretty much every single one of my clients because it's just gonna help you stay on track if you're trying to eat more healthy. If you know that you have a bunch of healthy food already waiting for you at home and all you have to do is just put it in the microwave to heat it up, you're gonna eat it because you don't want that stuff to go to waste. It's way easier just to go home and eat those containers of food than go out and get some fast food that's gonna be really bad for you at the end of a long day. So try meal prepping. It's gonna be really, really good for you. I'm sure you'll love it. I'm gonna let my cat back inside. Bye! I'm not, I'm not angry at you. You can come back in here. <laughs> Penguin kitty! <laughs> So like I said, yesterday it just rained all day and froze. So everything is frozen and it looks super cool. I wanna show you guys that. So I'm gonna test my creative skills and see if I can get some sweet B-roll of everything that's frozen. I'm gonna make it a long one, here we go. is just covered in ice. You should have saw it yesterday, it was even crazier yesterday. I missed my drone. 
it would be so nice to have my drone right now and get some sweet aerial shots of all this. I bet it looks crazy from up in the sky. Oh well, hopefully I'll get one soon. I've been filming B-roll for like, I don't know, 45 minutes or an hour or something like that and I'm freezing right now. Oh, my hands, my fingers, even though I have gloves on, they're so cold. Oh, okay. I thought I was done and then I got saw a squirrel and, <laughs> and then I had to do some more. Okay, I'm gonna run back to my car. I can see it. There it is. Oh. Oh, oh. Almost there. Hair's a mess. My face and fingers are freezing. Oh, I don't need to be back to work for another like hour and 10 minutes. I'm gonna head back home for a little while and warm up. Oh, I can't even talk. My mouth is freezing. Anyway, I'm gonna go back home for a little while, eat some food, and then finish out just two more sessions tonight. See you guys in a little bit. day done oh Wednesdays are so busy for me back to back from 5 15 a.m. until like 11 film a YouTube video and then work out in there somewhere and then come back for like three more sessions that night oh I'm exhausted all right thank you guys for watching this video and all of you guys that sent me and my roommate good wishes after the last video I put out about my roommates dog miles Thank you guys for all that stuff. I really, really appreciate it. And I also appreciate all of you guys that make it this far in the video. Not many of you guys do, but you guys are the ones that really, really count. So seriously, thank you so much for everything from that last video and for watching all my videos. Okay, I'm gonna go back home and eat because I got more meal prep stuff. I've got chili waiting for me to eat, which is so good on a cold day. Chili is the best. Okay, thank you guys for watching. Have a good night. Peace out.